But what about, okay, give me your top three for, for David. For David. Top three for David. Top three for David. man. You know, um, number one is Canelo. But we're not, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say number one Canelo because we got to uh, prove ourselves and, and get to him in a in different way. Number one, man, Charlo. I was so excited, bro. So excited, uh -huh. you know, just being, sharing the ring with a fucking monster, you know? Like I said, he's one of my favorite fighters. Charlo would be one of them. Uh, second one, um, you know, would be uh, Caleb Plant. And hopefully after Caleb Plant, then we could get to Canelo. Those would be the, the fights that I would really love to have. What do you guys think, guys? You guys I like his list. Good, man. I like his list. I, I like the fact that they don't price themselves out. They're fighting whoever. Mm -hmm. David's, will, David's willing to fight the best. His dad's willing to have his son fight the best. They're not ducking anybody. They're not cherry picking. They're taking who they give them and they're beating them. You, yeah, know, you want to say something funny? Win. When people say, oh, yeah, you want to fight Canelo because of the purse. Dude, do you have any idea just getting to Canelo and fighting Canelo, how much money you're going to generate? You know, after that fight, not that fight. Now, if you, beat him, if you beat him, superstar, you, right? Exactly. You become so a half of overnight. So, so you got to do your dues. You got to fight them. You know, and no matter what happens, if you lose or win, we're not losing anyways. But, you know, can you just imagine, you know, how Dave is going to be known and, and now he is going to be making the money. But in reality, money, dude, comes and goes. Making history. You know, the mm -hmm. Benavides. We're not afraid of nobody. 